Yes, indeed, Judy. Imagine how the girls are feeling at this moment. The final seven, a chance to talk to Judy. And the first of the seven, Miss Guam. Hello, Kimberly. Can you stand just a little closer so we can see you well and clearly? Can you describe your home to me on Guam? Um, it's beautiful. To me, it's paradise. It's like what you would imagine a tropical island to be, the sandy beaches and very tran tranquil. It's very nice. I like the way you see tranquil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get Ava Gabor to design your dress? Oh, my other dress that I was wearing. I didn't, it was, she designed it and I bought it. You know, I don't know her or anything like that. Oh, I thought it was a lot more intimate than oh, that. No, no, no. <laughs> now, what about your feelings in London? Have they been good while you've been here? Yes. Yes, they were very nice because my mother is from Belfast and I lived there for about a year and it was, I'm kind of used to the people and the food and I really enjoy it. Slightly different accent here. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, everybody teases me about that, but yeah. Well, the best of luck as you join now the, in fact, lead the line of the final seven, Miss Guam, thank you. And on my little list this evening, the second of our finalists is Miss United States. Hi, Brooke. Well done. Congratulations. Tell me where you come from in the state. I come from Hawaii. Say that again. Hawaii. What a wonderful way of saying it. I call it Hawaii. Well, if you want to be very technical, you would say Hawaii, because the Hawaiians pronounce their W's as V's. Now, it sounds a very romantic place. Does it live up to that reputation? I tend to take it for granted because I live there, but I think it's wonderful. It's a beautiful place. Why is it you like it so much, apart from it being home? Well, just like Miss Guam said, it's got beautiful beaches and it's this paradise, but what I think really makes Hawaii stand out is its people. They're beautiful people. Tell me about the lumber business that your mother ran. Did you help her with that? Oh, every Saturday after school, I, every weekend I would go down there. And I'd go in the back with all the boys and, and bag sand. No, wait a minute. <laughs> I'd bag sand and I'd take inventory of the paint and, and do all kinds of odds and ends jobs just to keep busy. Look, I think you better be careful all over the Albert Hall. They'll be wanting to start lumber businesses. Thank you very much indeed and good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the third of our finalists this evening is Miss New Zealand. Hello, Vicky. Well done. You've come a very long way for this competition. Tell me what you've experienced since you got here. Well, the first thing I experienced was that my luggage was left in San Francisco. Uh, but... <laughs> Luckily, it was found after a couple of days. But in the competition, we've been to the operas, we've been to the ballet, to several musicals, to a discotheque, uh -huh. and we've just been together, and it's really been wonderful. What have you enjoyed most of all about it? Because it is a Dickens of a long way to come. It was worth it, though, obviously. Oh, yes, it really was. But the thing I've enjoyed most is meeting girls from all over the world, you know, from every different country. That's what I've loved about it. And depending on what happens tonight, of course, you may be going straight home or you may not, but are you thinking of travelling further soon? Yes. Well, as you know, my mother's from Wales. So afterwards, we're going down to Wales and touring around, stopping in America and Hawaii. It'll be lovely. Well, have a very good trip, and congratulations on the final stage. <laughs> Yes, this is the halfway stage. Our fourth finalist this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Israel. Hello, and that congratulations to you as well. You can come. That's Thank fine. Thank you. Now, tell me about this army business. It's compulsory, of course, for you, isn't it, to go yes, into the army? Yes, it is. What will you be doing in the army? 
I have one month of general training with weapons, and after it we are going to have a feminine work for the, the last two years. What do you call feminine work? Becoming a teacher or of illiterate soldiers. Or, um, what sort of men do you like, actually? I told you the answer. Well, will you tell it me again? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I didn't try them all, but one Englishman <laughs> already passed the test. Well, I wonder who will be the next person to pass the test, but you have one final test to go through, and thank you very much indeed, Mrs. Israel. <laughs> As our fourth finalist joins the others, will you please welcome now Miss United Kingdom. Hi Kim, how are you feeling? Uh, well, I think I've got enough butterflies in my stomach to fill the stadium. <laughs> Tell me, last time I saw you actually, it was about half past seven after you'd run Miss UK. Half past seven in the morning. Now I thought you'd be lying in bed languishing with a a breakfast tray in front of you? No, I went in the sea about 8 o'clock when it was raining and it was cold and foggy and I went back in again at 9 o'clock on a chair. But why? Because the, that's the sort of picture they wanted because it was held in Brighton. So you sat on a chair in the middle of the sea. What else has happened to you since you've become Miss UK? Um, well, I've made many, many different appearances at uh, shops and uh, exhibitions and fashion shows. And garages too, then. Yes, I did, did one garage, yes. Yeah. Didn't you wreck a mo motorbike or something? Yes, well, I went to one garage and uh, I had to ride a little boy's motorbike, which was good fun. I didn't hit a lamp though. So. But you've got pinpricks all over your fingers. Oh, well, that was when I went to uh, watch someone um, practice doing shirt packing. And so they said, you have a go, so I did. And you've still got the marks? Yes, I've still got the pinprick. Kim, go and join the others, <laughs> and you. congratulations on to getting to the final seven. Miss United Kingdom. Only two more to go, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome now, Miss France. Patricia, I know you can, so répondez en anglais, s'il vous plaît. Oui? Yes. What are your hopes for the future? For the future? In years to come, what is it you would like to do? Uh, I would like to become uh, an interpreter because I'm a student and I learn three languages, German, Spanish and English. Why was it that your grandmother suggested you entered the competition? She suggested me, she encouraged me to go to the competition. Oh, I could listen to you all day. She encouraged you. That's a lovely way of saying it. Did she not worry that a 16-year-old lady might be led away by the men? Yes, of course. Well, that's <laughs> all there is to it, isn't there, actually? Thank you very much indeed, Miss France. <laughs> Six of the most beautiful girls in the world, ladies and gentlemen. The seventh is Miss Germany. What a reception, Gabriella. Congratulations. How are you feeling at this moment? And can you sum up what you feel about the week, ten days you've had here? Well, uh, at the moment I feel great. <laughs> and uh, the week that we had here, all the girls, it was very nice for us. We enjoyed it all very, very much. And we made a lot of friendships. And what well, I just can say it was a nice time. You want to go into costume design for theatres. Why is that? Well, because I'm interested in it. And later on, uh, I'll try to be, uh, uh, I think it's called a ward wardrobe supervisor in films. And uh, Don't you think you're beautiful enough to actually be an actress in the films? Uh, well, I think as an actress, you don't really have to be beautiful because all types of uh, people, are, they need all types, you know. And, well, I'm not really interested in being in front of the camera. Well, you are now. Go and join the rest of the girls and good luck. <laughs> Germany.
Well, there, ladies and gentlemen, are our final seven, from whom our judges must choose the one they feel best suited to wear the Miss World crown. We wish them good luck, and we thank once again Miss Guam, Miss USA, Miss New Zealand, Miss Israel, Miss United Kingdom, Miss France, and Miss Germany. Thank you very much, girls, and would you please lead off Miss Guam.